Hello everyone, welcome to the new module. We'll be studying what is a support and what is a resistance. I will be explaining this in a very simplified form so all of my students can learn this in a very easy way. I won't make this complicated, I'll make it as simple as possible. So all of the new traders or the new students or the advanced students can learn this in a very effective way. Let's begin. So what is a support and what is a resistance? The price of an asset pair which bounces back multiple times from a certain point is called a support. As you can see in the diagram which I have drawn for you below, I have marked the support and resistance level. So the price of an asset pair which bounces back from a certain point multiple times is called support. As you can see in this diagram, the price bounced multiple times from this support. Here it got multiple taps as you can see in this zone. And what is a resistance? The price of an asset pair which retraces back from certain point multiple times is called resistance. As you can see in this diagram, I have marked the resistance zone above this. The price, the, each time the price went, tapped this zone, got rejected. Each time the price went, got rejected each and every time. See, there here is another tap over here and the price rejected. So this is support and resistance. Remember, the most important part of this is that when the resistance is broken, it turns into support. And when the support is broken, it turns into resistance. For example, if this is the resistance, it got multiple taps over here. In case if the price breaks this zone, the price breaks this zone and the candle closes above this zone. Now this zone, now this resistance won't be resistance. This will be now support. Same goes for the support. If the support is broken, it means it has turned into resistance. The price will break now this zone to make this as a support. This was a hypothetical example. Let's go to live charts and find some support and resistance on multiple pairs. Let's dive in. Now this is the euro and the US dollar chart. As we can see clearly, the price bounced back two times from this zone, which means that this zone is now support. The buyers are interested over here and they do not allow the price to further drop. So this is our support zone. We have to draw support zone from the toolbox. Take simply a trend line. Let's draw it. As you can see clearly, this is our support zone now. we got multiple tabs one two three four five so this means this is a perfect support now it's holding the price isn't further dropping from this zone now we have a resistance zone also see the price isn't moving further away from this zone which means that the buyers could not break this zone there's a win-win situation over here both the buyers and sellers are maintaining the price let's draw the resistance zone this is our resistance zone as you can see clearly perfect see the price went up got rejected went up got rejected then dropped here it got its support zone bounced back from here bounced back from here again got multiple taps overhead and got rejected this is the daily time frame chart this seems a perfect opportunity to buy and sell around over here you can draw support and resistance zone on any time frame. This is the daily chart. You can draw it on any time frame which you want. For the best results, I prefer use the hourly and the daily charts and the weekly. So this was the support and resistance. It's pretty simple guys. Practice as much as you can and you will be able to identify support and resistance on multiple time frames. Now in case, in case if this, this is the resistance zone, if the price is able to surpass this zone, now this zone has become a support. Now the resistance zone will be towards upside. And the same scenario is for the support. If the support is broken, now this is the resistance zone. This is the resistance zone now. Let's go find some another examples. This is the Ethereum and the US dollar chart. This is the 4 hour chart. Let's find the major support and resistance on this pair. Let's zoom out a bit. Now, as we can clearly see over here, we got multiple rejections of the price from this zone. This means clearly that this is a strong resistance level. The buyers could not break this zone. The sellers 
do not allow them let's take the trend line and draw a resistance zone over here this is the trend line from the toolbox and this is our resistance zone we got multiple price rejections from over here now let's draw the support zone this is our support zone the price to bounce multiple times from this zone so what does this mean when the price is near the resistance zone i have to sell i have to take my profit and close the trade we got multiple confirmations over here that this is the support zone so this means that we can purchase the pair over here in this zone so i have to purchase this and i have to sell over resistance so what happened next the resistance as you can see over here got broke got broke over here this was the fake out now so what is a fake out many retail traders like us would have bought over here upon the breakout but the market makers manipulated them and drop back the price and hit their stop losses so basically this was the fake out we always have to be aware of the fake out this is where the risk management and confirmation comes which we will be covering in the next lectures the price as you can see closed back below the resistance zone over here and now is consolidating in between the support and resistance we have to show patience over here either we have to buy on a proper breakout after a confirmation a strong candle closure above this or we have to buy over here at the support so we have to observe right now let's move on to our final example of support and resistance let's go this is our final example this is the bitcoin and the us dollar chart let's find major support and resistance level this is the resistance level as you can see we got multiple rejections upon here this is the resistance zone and this is the support zone the price was constantly bouncing back from this zone now see the support zone got broken which has turned into a resistance as you can see this is now the resistance and the price bounced back from this zone but one two three four almost five times which means that this is a support let's draw it this is our support now and this is our resistance upon breaking the resistance as you can see this has turned into support now we have to buy over here and we have to sell at the resistance level back what happened next as you can see the resistance level got broke out now this is our support level this one this is our support level we have to look for buying opportunities over here and the resistance level as you can see the price cannot surpass this region this is our mini resistance zone which we have to keep an eye on it this is our resistance zone so this is how simple the support and the resistance is practice as much as you can on any charts any pair which you want to analyze and if there's anything you still do not understand let me know in the q and a session i'll be there to respond as soon as possible let's move on to our next lecture thank you so much